The Spray Vandals is the number one website to get all your graffiti supplies. You can also get UFO sticker packs as well. Use the discount code UFO for 15% off your entire order. So today we're going to be reacting to No Trey or Noda. There's so many ways that you can read his name. This writer is actually from my city. So he's a local and he's just got into the YouTube filming. Of course, there's many, many writers in Melbourne that get up, but not many actually openly film it. And that's what kind of makes him unique. Just in the city getting up pretty much. I like his tag of the simple. It's nice and easy to read. There's no complication to it whatsoever. It's easy to read and he's controlling the flow of those drips as well. It's just grimy. Like, I don't know what else to say about it. Fresh. He hit some pretty red hot spots, I must say. So I won't be surprised if someone has a go at him or something for getting up because I know there's a lot of Karens. There's Karens all over the world. If I get yelled at for putting a sticker up, then chances are no tray is going to get yelled at for tag. Just depends on the spot. Definitely is a fan of his drips. I've noticed. Like to me, that's pretty red hot where he is right now. I know exactly where that is as well. The funny thing about this video, like it, I'm not reacting to Weck or someone from overseas. This is so close to home that I know a fair few of these spots that he's tagging up. And it's pretty refreshing to see, to be honest, some content like this. There you go, someone buffed it and it remained. It's just so grimy, isn't it? Instant destruction. <laughs> Very instant destruction. That's a very nice clip right there. He's got the full thing in view. And it's cool, he's switching between GoPro and I'm guessing handheld camera or phone. So it's cool, he's you know switching it up. He's not using it sparingly, he's going for it. So many familiar names that I'm seeing as well. But yeah, no tray, he's not holding back. At the start of this video, he was filling up three different markers. So he was probably just setting out to go with those three markers until they all run out. He's having a good old time, boom. That pops so well on that red surface. so messy so quickly doesn't it man i feel like if you got that type of ink in your clothes you definitely wouldn't be able to get it out no it's buts or maybes definitely not but he's definitely picking nice surfaces and right in the cbd there's been a few clips where he's right in the cbd right in like the main city of melbourne that place gets buffed very very often in certain places i should say so a lot of it is buff surfaces and you know therefore it's smooth and clear to tag. Oh, these are really good clips, man. Very nice. That's sick. You know, his tag, they're easy to read. They're easy to read from far away. You know, there's some style in that tag, 100%. But also the fact that it's readable from, just say across the street, you can easily see this tag that he's just done, boom. That's that's massive and it's easy to read. The spacing between the letters as well, very nice. Now, another thing I should mention is getting up is one thing. Getting your graffiti up is one thing, but also filming it and making sure it's in frame, it's a whole nother box of frogs. But it also helps when you have that don't care mentality as well. The thing that would scare me is like I'm taking too long I've got to move on when you have a certain mentality that's when you can get up the most when you just get on with it if something's gonna happen it's gonna happen then you deal with the problem you cross that bridge yeah he's definitely going for it here damn hitting all types of spots I noticed too he's not even wearing gloves man that would take forever to get out of your skin as well I reckon I need to go to the bathroom there's no bath there like what the hell's up with that why do we call it a bathroom it's a it's a restroom a toilet a shit out very grimy and he's not messing around he's got a lot of clips in here getting up getting up with the t wow that's a pretty thick marker as well i must say Big fat mop it's funny like certain parts of melbourne there's surfaces where there's just there's no way for you to really use such markers because there's so much graffiti already there so that's how i know that kind of you know some of the spots that he's hitting are regularly buffed because in some cases it's pretty hard to find surfaces that are free in terms of tag or in terms of pieces unless you are real deep in the tunnels and all that jazz <laughs> Yeah, you definitely can't deny that he gets up, as you can see. Yeah, man. You can 
tell it's fun as hell as well. Like, you can't deny it. It'd be so fun just going for a walk, getting up that much. It also feels like he's given people on the video, like kind of just showing other people's tags a little bit. It's not just focused mainly on him. So if he's about to hit up a spot where there's tags already there, it'll be like a second before he actually starts tagging. So it's like, oh, look at all these other tags, you know, like welcome to Melbourne kind of thing. But it was using street ink. The stuff's so dark too, like you can't see through it at all. Pretty good stuff. Oh yeah, I know exactly where this is, man. up in the phone box. Surprised we still have those around, to be honest with you. Apparently you can use them for free now. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know, figured I'd add that to it. Damn. <laughs> in the dead of night, no tray gets up. Fresh. Link will be in the description to his channel. Also wanted to mention to the loyal subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. And if you wanna enter this giveaway, leave a little comment stating your Instagram name and your favorite graffiti supply. And then that's about it, you have now entered. If you guys want more content like this, or you have time to watch some videos that I've already made, click any one that you see here on screen. If you don't see any on screen, just go over to my channel and there's over 500 videos that you could watch. But as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day and of course, have a good one.